Let's talk marketing swag. Hey, what's up? I'm Mark Scott. Thanks for checking out another voiceover tip. If you never want to miss a tip, you know what you have to do. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. You're going to get notified every time a new video goes up. And of course, don't forget to check out the Everyday VOPreneur podcast, your guide through the business of voiceover. More business and marketing advice every week at VOPreneur.com. So it's been a minute since we had the opportunity to talk about marketing swag because it really wasn't something we needed to think a whole lot about. There wasn't any conferences to go to. There wasn't really a whole lot of in-person networking going on. So the need for some kind of fancy marketing swag wasn't there as much. But now that some of those things are starting to happen again, it's a conversation that we can have. Let's talk about marketing swag. If you're getting ready to go to a conference, if you're getting ready to go to in-person networking events, maybe your local chamber of commerce is doing events, whatever it is, if you wanna have something cool to hand out to people so that they remember you, you need to put a little bit of strategic thought into it. Now, there are staples that everybody's going to go for, but let me ask you a question. Do you really need another coffee mug? I can't even begin to tell you how many coffee mugs I've been given at conferences over the years, and every single one of those coffee mugs, and I almost hate to admit this, but every single one of those coffee mugs ultimately ends up in the garbage. First and foremost, I don't drink coffee, so I guess that's part of it. Maybe if you're a coffee drinker, that's okay. But see, even if you are a coffee drinker, how many mugs do you actually need? Like realistically, how many mugs do you actually need? And then even if you've got a dozen coffee mugs in your cupboard, there's probably one that's your favorite, right? The one go-to mug that you use every single morning when you're having your coffee for breakfast or every single evening when you're having your coffee after dinner, right? We've all got the same one. Or, you know, you're going to Starbucks or Tim Hortons or whatever and you're not even drinking coffee at home anyway. All of that is to say, you gotta be strategic when you're thinking about what you're going to create for marketing swag so that you're not wasting your money. There's nothing worse than handing out a whole bunch of marketing swag at a conference and then knowing, or maybe even not knowing, that those people are just going to go home and throw your stuff out. So one of the things that I do think is the age old classic is the pen, but it's gotta be a good pen. If you get me a good, like thick, chunky pen that I can hang on to, uh, you know, one that's got maybe like the stylus point on the end of it or something like that, if it's a really good, nice pen, that's something that I'm gonna use just about every single day in my business. I'm either gonna have it at my desk or I'm gonna put it in my laptop bag and I'm gonna carry it with me when I travel, uh, but I'm always going to have a need for a pen. I still hold on to some of the better pens that I have got from conferences even, you know, five or six years ago. And so that's one of those things where that was a good investment for the person that made it because every time I pick up that pen, I see their logo. Every time I pick up that pen, they're top of mind with me now. So having a really nice pen could be the answer. But I'm not specifically talking about pens here. There's a, there's a greater conversation that's happening. I want you to think about what is useful. That's what it really comes down to. If you're going to spend money, invest money, into creating marketing swag for your business, you want to invest money in something that is going to be useful. Something that the person is going to pick up every day or nearly every day so that every time they put their hand on it, they're going to be thinking about you. In the past, I've talked about the dog clicker that I received from Edge Studio. And for any of you that have ever been to a voiceover conference before, you might actually have one of these things. But for a number of years, when you went to a conference, Edge Studio was always handing out these dog clickers. Those things are freaking brilliant for voice actors. I've got a couple of them. I keep one with my travel gear. I got one in my booth. I've got one at my desk. I have been using those things pretty much every day of my voiceover career since I was given them from Edge Studio, since they were handing them out at conferences. That's something that is incredibly useful. And so, I'm never gonna forget about Edge Studio because every single day I'm literally holding their name and logo and branding in my hand when I use that clicker. That's what you wanna be thinking about when you're thinking about creating marketing swag. Does this thing that I'm going to create, does it solve a problem? Does this thing that I'm going to give them, does it add value? Does it create a use opportunity? You get the business cards, what does everybody do with business cards? They bring the business cards home, they sit them on the desk, they have the best intentions that they're gonna add them into their system, and what do they ultimately do with them? They throw them all in the garbage, right? It's something that just doesn't get used. You wanna make sure that you're giving people 
something that they're going to use every single day. Now, how do you determine that? Well, a big part of that is determining who your audience is and determining what the things are that they may be using every single day. One of the things that I've talked about doing in the past was USB thumb drives. You can never have too many USB thumb drives. I've got dozens of them, but I use them all the time. Preloading your demos, maybe even preloading part of your website on a USB thumb drive and handing that out at a conference. Now, that might be a really good way to get yourself top of mind with some leads, prospects, and clients. Make sure that your logo's on it, right? That's something that somebody could use every day. There was a brilliant idea that was mentioned to me by another voice actor, something that someone they know had done, and it was a cover for your webcam. Now, when the whole world was sitting at home in a pandemic and we're doing everything via Zoom because we're all remote working, one of the big paranoias that people had was about their camera either being turned on remotely, you know, somebody hacking into your system and turning on your camera, or forgetting to turn off your camera when you're doing those Zoom meetings. Nobody wants that awkward moment where all of a sudden they're in a meeting and they stand up and they're in their underwear and the whole world can see it. And so this cover that goes over your USB camera, brilliant idea, right? It's got branding on it, it's got a logo on it, it's something that they're gonna use every single day, it's something that somebody is gonna see every single day. These are the things that you need to be thinking about before you create marketing swag. Don't just look for whatever the cheapest thing is. Because when you go out and you look for whatever the cheapest thing is and you buy a whole bunch of them, if they all end up in the garbage, then it was still a waste of money. I would rather spend a little bit more money to get something that I know is going to be more appreciated or more valued or more useful because then I know I'm gonna get a return on my investment. I can't get a return on my investment if that thing that I bought is in the trash. But I'm going to get a return on my investment if that thing that I bought is in the person's hand, the recipient's hand, every single day. So that's what I want you to think about before you start creating your marketing swag next time. Is this something that solves a problem? Is this something that adds value? Is this something that is going to be used every day? Or is this something that's likely just gonna end up in the trash? If it ends up being that last one, you just wasted a whole lot of money.